Hey internet friends, good morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. Um, today I'm filming in my office, which I have not filmed in here since I think April when I made my last Lush Kitchen subscription unboxing, which it seems like ages ago, which I don't know if it does for you, but it does for me. Um, but I don't know, I kind of miss sitting in here. But anyways, today I'm going to be unboxing two Lush orders, which I actually made one day after the other because I don't know why, I don't really have an excuse. I guess I was under supervised or something like that. But anyways, I made two recent Lush orders because Lush recently released a bunch of Lush Community Shower Gel. I had to get some of those. I also was out of a few Lush staples around here and so I decided to pick those up. And then literally the next morning I got an email from Finley, which, hi Finley, if you're watching over at Lush, and the email said that there would be a Lush summer sale, which is similar to their Boxing Day sale where the products are 50% off, which Lush has never done in the summer before. So of course I had to pick up a few items, either one, I didn't buy enough of or that I wanted to try that my store didn't have in stock. So um, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So the first item that I picked up in the sale slash new release collection is an oldie but a goodie that has been around since way before I was Lushy and that is the Up You Get Shower Bomb, which I think I've talked about this before. I'm not sure which unboxing it was in, but it was, but this actually came out um, initially came out in one of these subscription boxes and then came out on Lush Online, which is really exciting. And Up You Get's Shower Bomb is exactly what it sounds like. It is a shower bomb, and so rather than putting it in your bath, you just let it sit in the bottom of your shower. I like to put it kind of like in the corner so the water doesn't get to it as much, so it lasts a little bit longer, but basically it's just like a shower steamer, and it smells amazing. Up You Get's has always been one of my favorites because it's energizing and citrusy, and so I'm going to give it a little smell. And yeah, it smells like early morning. Actually, it smells like early morning 2015, which is when I first became a Lushy, I think, and I used to buy this all the time when they used to sell it, so that's really exciting. Yeah, I should have bought more than one, but again, like my Lush collection is giant. Moving on to the next item in the haul is actually back from Valentine's Day, and it is the Love Letter Bath Bomb, which mine is falling apart, again, because I think it's been around in the Lush store since probably the end of Valentine's Day, but Love Letter Bath Bomb, as I said, came out around um, Valentine's Day, and it was absolutely deliciously scented, and I can't remember all of the scent notes, and so I am going to look it up in my little insert again. I feel like I should know this, but there's just so many Lush products, it's hard to keep it all inside my brain. So a Love Letter, to be reminded, is scented with bergamot oil, frankincense, and geranium, so... Oh, it smells dreamy. I love this bath bomb. Again, I wish I would have gotten more than one, but once again, too many. But I love it because even though it's a white bath bomb, it smells amazing and it was really moisturizing last time I used it. And you can even see in the back, like, little bits of the cocoa butter. Or actually, I think it's shea butter in there. But they melt into your bath and it's delicious. So highly, highly recommend if you can still get your hands on that one. If not, a good alternative would be Butterball. This one I compare to pretty much being Butterball plus like a like more floral sweet citrusy scent so if you like butterball you're gonna love this or if you miss this you can still get the same body benefits using butterball bath bomb Ugh, gosh dang it all my battery died again i hope the angle is close enough tell me those of you who create content out there is it just me or is it every single time we sit down and film a video the battery dies instantly let me know in the comment section Boy. Now that's taken care of, let's move on to the next item in my haul is actually a Father's Day item, which I completely forgot to make a Father's Day video, by the way. Sorry about that. I made a reaction video, but I didn't make a Father's Day haul video. I guess I felt like it was kind of redundant since I had done the reaction video. Let me know in the comment section if you like the reaction videos in the haul after, or if you think I should just do one or the other. I'd love to hear your opinion if you have one in the bottom, but anyways, the that item is the True Grit Soap, which I actually did buy for Mr. Right When Father's Day collection was released, and he really liked it because it smells very, like, manly, because um, I think the main scent is rosemary, but I'm gonna give it a quick sniff and then I'll talk about it, because I never made that video talking about it, so... Mm, yeah, it smells the same as it does before, obviously. I don't know why, I just smelled it, whatever. But anyways, according to the ingredient list, True Grit Soap is scented with lots and lots of rosemary infusion, um, orris root powder, cedarwood oil, elmi oil, sweet wild orange oil, benzine gum powder, and thyme oil. Again, very manly and herbally, which if that's something that you like, perfect. I think this would actually be really good in a kitchen because a lot of these scents are in the kitchen anyway, but... Oh, it smells so good. And I also like that it has some pumice in there, so if you're in the kitchen, like, doing something really nasty, you can kind of, like, exfoliate your skin a little bit. Moving on to the second soap I picked up for this haul is a little Chia Piglet Soap, which, do you see how adorable this is? 
I could not help myself. It's just too, too cute. Actually, this is the second one I purchased because, again, I feel like around Lush, I need supervision, which is why my collection is so big. But the little Chia Piglet soap, of course, aside from being cute, has chia seeds inside, which provide a really gentle exfoliation when you're washing your hands or body with it, which is great. And I think it is just like a vanilla and tonka scent. So let's give it a little smell and see if it's true. Yeah, it's definitely vanilla and tonka, and I can smell the chia in there, which um, if you like the smell of chia, that's perfect, but if you don't, I feel like in the water, the smell of the chia is kind of disguised by the vanilla and the tonka, so you shouldn't smell it too much, but look how cute this is. I love him so much. With that being said, that is the end of our Naked products, so we're going to move into our packaged products. I have some bottles and some black pots, and I also have a gift set, which I don't remember what was in it, so let's start with the bats. So the first packaged product that I picked up in the 50% sale is a little gift set for myself, and it's the Take It Easy gift set, and it's super adorable. I like it so much. I love buying the Lush gift sets, especially when they're on offer, because the product inside is usually already a pretty good value, but if you can get it on discount, it's even better, and the packaging is so cute. Cute. So if you want to give it as a gift, it's already ready to go. Or what I like to do is I just save the boxes from my gift sets if I buy it for myself or if I get a gift set and then just reuse it for something else. And especially with this one, all you would need would be like a yellow or orange ribbon or something and it would be good to go. So anyways, inside of the Take It Easy gift set, it has three products inside, um, all of which I already have in my shower, but because it was an offer, I couldn't help myself. So we're going to open it up and I'll show you what's inside. Alright, so first product in the gift, out of the gift set is a tiny, I think it's 75 gram Dream Cream body lotion, which is amazing for people with eczema prone skin. But I just love it in general because it's a really gentle, light moisturizer that I use pretty much all over my body except for on my face. Um, there is also a mini yummy custard body wash. It's like a sweet vanilla um, shower wash, but it's really moisturizing, almost like a shower smoothie, which I guess, yeah. It says body wash on here, but I would akin it to Lush's old shower smoothies. It's just white, and I can smell it from here. Oh, it does just smell like sweet vanilla custard, and I kind of want to lick it. I'm not going to on camera, but I really want to. Aside from washing your body, it's really great for shaving because it's really moisturizing, which is honestly what I use it for, so that's awesome. And then the last item in the gift set is a little Snuggles shower gel. It's a 100 gram bottle. Um, I like the Snuggles shower gel a lot. It's the same scent as the Butterball bath bomb, and it's just delicious, so I'm going to give it a smell. Mm, so good. It really does kind of smell like a warm snuggle, and I really like to use this in the evening because it's really moisturizing, and Little Man likes it because it's very, like, cozy and calming, because he says it reminds him the smell of bedtime, whatever that means. It's fine. Anyhow, kid logic. Next item in the haul is another one of my Lush staples that I try to keep around the house all the time, and it is the Super Milk Conditioning Hair Primer, which originally, when it was released, was part of, I think, the, like, African hair care collection. It says Lock Liquid, which I think is what usually is used for, is that people are, like, fixing their dreads. Um, you use it kind of as, like, the liquid when you're, like, twisting them. I'm not sure. I've never had dreads. I've thought about it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should get dreads? Anyways, a lot of money in my house has dreads. I actually love keeping super milk around the house because it works really well as a leave-in conditioner. I use it usually on the days where I'm going to leave my hair curly like today. And little man uses it every time he gets out of the shower because he doesn't like using actual conditioner in the shower because he says he's got better things to do than rinse his hair, which I totally understand. So that works really well. I also like to take it traveling so I just don't have to pack a conditioner. So what I would usually do is I just reuse the same super milk bottle I've been using for years the 100 gram bottle and just refill it every time and it's always been fine. So that's everything from the sale slash household staples collection that I picked up and now I'm going to move on to the limited edition products that just came out. So first item is one of my favorite Lush products of all time. I borderline cried when it was discontinued and I was feeling really sad but they have brought it back and actually I'm pretty sure it is the first Lush product I ever purchased and the packaging is different now but it is the Ultra Balm Moisturizer which back in the day I'll try to find an old clip of it. I don't think I even have an old tin. I think I got rid of it. But it used to come in a metal tin, I think, that was completely recyclable. But um, Ultra Balm has been one of my favorites forever because it's an all-purpose balm. So it can be used for pretty much whatever you want to use it for. I personally have always used it as a lip balm, although it is a little bit grainy at first. But I'm just going to show it to you guys, and we'll see if the texture is still the same. Hope that you guys can see. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, I think they may have improved the formula a little bit. Um, it's a little bit less grainy than I remember it. But it does still smell the same. Does it still only have three ingredients? 
yeah, it's still just jojoba oil, calendula wax, and rose wax, which is awesome. So it's perfect if your skin is really sensitive. A lot of people have said they also use it to heal tattoos or to keep their tattoos moisturized because it's really thick and awesome. Personally, I don't have any tattoos, but I did buy this for a family member who has quite a few and he says it just makes them look like fresh every time he puts it on. So that's awesome. And then the last and final product in my haul is the product in the haul I am most excited about and it is one of the Lush Community items and it is the Guardian of the Forest Shower Gel. I don't know if you remember it, but back in the day, Guardian in the Forest bath bomb was one of the first bombs I ever used from Lush, and it's still one of my favorites to this day, and I'm so sad it's not a thing anymore, but it used to be the one that had like the tree on it. It was like blue and green, I think. It smelled amazing. It reminded me of walking through a forest when I was a child, and like that's the smell, so let's give it a little smell, and then I'll remind you of the actual ingredients. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the exact same smell. Kind of want to drink it but i'm not going to because you're not supposed to drink trees but oh it smells so good and let's see if i can show you guys the texture i can't i don't know if it's gonna be thick okay it's kind of a thin texture which is fine that doesn't affect the usage of it or anything so let's read the official ingredients i'm pretty sure it has oak moss and cedar could be a liar let's see so um this formula for guardian of the forest is scented with cypress leaf lime juice cypress oil, lime oil, oak moss, moringa oil, and that's it. So very earthy back where I'm from in the States. There's a lot of cedar trees, and so I think that's why it smells so much like cedar to me. It smells so much like home, um, but I love it, and it's amazing. So yeah, with that being said, that is the end of my little haul video for today. I love everything that I picked up. Favorite item, of course, is going to be the shower gel. Um, can't really pick a least favorite. Maybe the soap I got from Mr. just because it's not for me. So with that being said, if you had a chance to pick anything up for the 50% off sale, let me know what it was in the comment and let me know what your favorites are. Like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.